Oh look, I have a free kill. Oh. I mean, sure. What the fuck? What? Oh. If you're tired of that happening to you, do I got something for you? Buckle up, strap in, because you're going to be shooting your gun straight by the end of today. Lots of people ask me, hey, how do you tune your weapons so darn well? Well, let me tell you. First of all, if you are on controller, it's impossible. You have to go up here and switch to mouse and keyboard. I actually have to. When I go into tuning, it just has a mind of its own all of a sudden. So let's say you want to make this muzzle have a little bit more recoil. So if you see for the recoil stabilization at zero, it's it's already pretty high, right? This game has a tuning system called a sweet spot. I'm not sure if that's really what they call it, but that's what I call it. So if you see when I go from zero, it'll just suddenly spike up like that. And it spikes up around 25, which I think is kind of on purpose. It's like an even weird number in your head that just kind of makes sense. And yeah, you could bring it all the way up, but do you see how much ADS you lose at that point? Once you hit that sweet spot, the higher you go, it won't go up much higher in the recoil, but it'll just keep going and going and going and keep eating at your ADS without really helping your recoil. They did an update recently where they kind of changed everything, so no one really knows what they do exactly. That's kind of what I do for tuning. There's just a bunch of sweet spots with every attachment. It's usually at like those sweet spot numbers like 0 0.25, 0 0.10, 0 0.30. It really depends for everything. But, uh, I mean, that's just how I tune everything. That's the way I do it. But, uh, I mean, if you find something else better, let me know. Drop a comment. Let me know how you guys do it. But, uh, as for the attachments, these are my attachments. I don't really think they matter. If you really want to get my up-to-date attachments, my settings, literally everything I use in my setup, if you want any of that stuff, it's all on my website, futives.com. So, you never, ever have to keep wondering, hey, when is he going to drop a video? I need to know what he uses. It is all on my website, 24-7 always updated it whatever you need if the gun isn't there i haven't used it enough to have a good build with it i really don't use too many of the guns a lot of the guns in this game are kind of boring so uh other than that for the secondaries the combat knife is the best in my opinion for s d if you want to get places faster just feel a little bit faster the knife is insanely good um i use it to actually build momentum and get around the map a lot faster it's good to have it out before you get into a gunfight you kind of just have to be able to anticipate where it's at i wouldn't really use any launchers unless you're trying to have fun for the pistols p890 is only good if you do wield them they're pretty broken that way the deagle is just kind of a fun gun it's not the best pistol by any means but you can definitely hit some nice one digs i wouldn't uh akimbo these x12 is pretty good bass looks is really good if you use the uh the snake shot with the kimbo and then the x13 is pretty good for the tactical stims are pretty worthless in this game they don't really work the same way they did in the first game and this game you have to basically only use them for getting out of sticky situations when you're one shot if you don't want to use a stim use a uh, flash grenade they're absolutely the best thing in the game they're a lot better than sun grenades and if you're really advanced in the game you can always use a smoke grenade smoke grenades are pretty important if you want to cross somewhere without being seen or better yet you can do something called the one way where you basically sit in your own smoke and people outside of the smoke can't see you they won't get aim assist on you but you can see them and uh get some free kills for the lethals i basically just do semtex c4 isn't really worth using claymore is if you want to be a little coward thermite if you're playing against uh riot shells throwing knives are just always fun to have frag grenade if you're playing the longer maps and you know nade spots proxy mines if you're a coward drill charge against riot shields but it won't always one shot so keep that in mind and mollies if maybe a glitch comes out again with a bomb for the perk package there is only one perk package you should realistically be running double time bomb squad and almost nothing else. Maybe if you want to run overkill with a sniper, you can do that. Uh, but the pistols are good enough when you're using a sniper that you don't need one. Battle Harden's worthless, by the way. Do not use this. It doesn't do anything. For the bonus perk, Fast Hands is the best. Focus only is worth it if you use a sniper. But even then, I prefer Fast Hands just because usually you'll just flinch up into someone's head and get a free kill anyway. And then for the ultimate, I think Quick Fix is the best. High Alert, I heard, kind of just doesn't work correctly. And uh, Ghost, you can just shoot down the UAV or... Just hope they don't even drop one on you. Quick fix is for sure the best because the health regen is like eight seconds to go from like one HP to 100. So keep that in mind. It gives it helps you play like a lot more aggressively and uh, will help you get around the map a lot faster. For field upgrade, Dead Silence is the only good one really worth using. Uh, I mean, there's some decent one. Battle Rage is really good if you want to play aggressive shipment. The issue with a lot of these is that if you're playing respawn, the animation just kind of gets you screwed over. Honestly, this is just preference. It depends what you're playing. Like, let's say you're playing CDL, you might want to use Trophy, but... This is all preference. Also forgot to mention, if you're wondering what the best guns in the game are right now, at this current moment in time, the best ARs are the M4, the TAC-56, and the 74U. For SMGs, honestly, a lot of the SMGs are actually really solid in this game, except the MP7. The MP7 is really the only bad SMG in the game, but the best SMGs currently would probably be the Vaznev MP5, and the Vector. The AUG's also pretty solid, but I just think these three SMGs are a little bit above it. For the Marksman Rifles, the SAB-50 is a better version of the SPR they have over here. 
here and the lockwood is always just fun to use but all right everyone into the next part of the video i'm going to be teaching you how to never lose a gunfight again so if you're into this game and you haven't watched my last tips and tricks videos there are some things you need to know about this game number one playing aggressive in this game is almost always not wanted by the developers but there's ways to do it correctly and to actually make you win gunfights compared to people not moving if you're not aware yet when you jump an ads here's a normal ads pretty pretty mid yeah here's a jump ads you see how much slower that is that's a huge difference there i think it's a third slower i'm not sure i don't know the exact number but it's, it's pretty slow so if you don't have to if someone's right in front of you Sometimes it's good to jump. It really can catch people off, but just keep that in mind. If you are going to jump around a corner, make sure when you're doing it, you do a little bit earlier and just kind of have an idea of where they are. You kind of have to visualize it. You'll learn more as you play the game, but when you're going around a corner, visualize where they're going to be, have the pre-aim, and just start shooting immediately. This game is all reflex-based, so if you don't have good reflexes, the TTK is so fast that it'll kind of hurt you a little bit. But uh, another thing you can do is diving the cover. Let's say this guy's watching this cross. I know he's here. There's no reason to jump across or run across. Yeah, you'll get there faster, but it's a lot easier to hit you, especially with how insane the headshot multipliers. You're just going to get insta-killed. So one of the best things you can do is just dive across, and you can check it like that instead of having to run without looking. Something you can do is always this and just look across, and you'll have info. Then you can go wrap back, and you can go play for this heady kill, and you can have them there. Something else you can do that is absolutely positively absurd is snake. So if you don't know how to snake, you prone forward. You're just basically you spam your hold or I'm, what I'm doing is I'm holding and then taking my finger off of the prone button. So you just hold that backwards and bring it up forwards. You do it as fast as possible like this. This is a perfect way to snake. And at this point, I can see him and he almost can't see me. So if you want to go ahead and just shoot me when I get up here. And that's what it looks like on his screen. You basically cannot see me. I was watching him the whole time. That's what it looks like when I actually stand up. So that's how absolutely insane snaking is. It's been in Call of Duty since about Infinite Warfare, which is actually the last Call of Duty Infinity War made before 2019, which is crazy if you think about it. But they still haven't been able to get out of the game just yet. And uh, it's so bad that even pros are doing it blatantly in competitive games. So... I thought you should know if you didn't already. Something else that you should really learn is how to actually peek a corner without fully peeking it. Let me put you in a situation here. This guy knows you're here, right? What some people will do before going around a corner is they'll just go like this. This is like not how you peek a corner. The way you want to think of a corner is a pie. So you want to go around each corner of the pie, each degree of it until you see him. You don't want to just wide swing it like this because now you have one, two, three, four, five, six places you can die from. So you want to try to take it slowly unless you're just sure you're there. Something else you can also do to just get info is just jump around a corner like that. You see him and you can reach out or play another corner. But it's usually not the best idea to repeat corners or, or repeat angles just because they'll know you're there and they're most likely to pre-aim it. It's always good to catch them off guard. But you can always do something called an eagle chow or an eagle child as some might say. Where sometimes just because it's so like weird of you to do it, like they just won't expect it and you can get a kill off of them. But a lot of people in pubs just won't really expect that. It's just a bunch of idiots to be honest. But uh, something else you can also do is called a shoulder. When you shoulder, you do something like this. You're just getting information. Uh, like let's say you have a bomb planted here and you want to see if he's on it. You just throw a quick shoulder. Something you can also do to get the... Uh, to catch someone off guard is you can peek it like this. They almost won't never expect that. And you'll just kind of shoulder it like that. It's, you see this like little animation where you barely see me. Because in this game, you see out of your right shoulder. So like right there, I could see a lot of him. And I'm sure he could barely see me. And it's just a lot of people won't even have their analog stick looking towards the ground. So if they're pre-aiming sometimes, you can also just... They will just won't see you. Sometimes just proning in really random spots just won't get you seen. Like, let's say someone peeks this head glitch right here. Because their gun is up and get, like, their gun model and everything so big, they just won't see you because they're going to be like looking far up. Because no one's really going to expect that. Just like a really weird spot. Oh, also for movement. Running out with your knife is always a huge, huge difference. You can see how, how athletic, how supersonic speed I am. This is such a big difference rather than just running like this. Like, yeah, I'm not running too slow, but it's just not as fast. You'll always run a lot faster. And what I'll do is, like, let's say I just assume someone will be here. You don't even have to know they're there. You run out with your knife. You can just grab the speed and then jump like that. See how much slower I got when I have my AR and start ADSing? That gives you a huge boost. And it can honestly just throw people off with how fast you start and how slow you end. So that's always good. Um... There's just a bunch of ways to do something called a camera. When you camera someone, you just kind of kill them in a way where they... You kill them in a way where they basically don't see the same thing you just did. For example, snaking is a kind of a way of a camera. On your camera, you see something else and they don't. Or coming around a corner and just insta-killing them. And some people ask me how I just kind of know where people are. 
when you play a game or just like because i've been playing call of duty for a while you kind of just realize how people will play the game how people play maps it's just always predictable it's just something you learn it's just playing to get better is something that you should always do i don't really do it since i'm playing pubs but since i've been playing for so long you kind of just learn how people play so that's why i always just go around corners framing where i think people will do or just kind of the way i think about it is when i'm playing something I'm like how would i play that and i just kind of play off of that if i play something a different way if i know someone's kind of bad at the game i'll just be like what would a bad player do but something that's always good to do especially in a game like this is just always having your gun up so just going around corners doing that is always good but don't do it around every corner that'll just get you killed and kill your momentum just doing it off headies because like for the example, you know a lot of people are going to spawn here. Or even this area. Like, people spawn here all the time. But, like, let's say you just kill the squad right here. They're most likely going to spawn right here. So, you go around here. Then you go right there. Going around this corner and kind of holding it like this is just going to get you killed because of how long it'll take. There are some situations where you don't want to peek it like a pie. In this situation, you want to get them off the off the head glitch just like that. Or just frame that. Because usually people don't really play those head glitches. But it's more just like learning how people play. And uh, your play style also matters a lot. Because I play pretty aggressively, so I kind of have to hold a preem. Because if I just run around, my gun's going to take so long to get up. It just won't It just won't be enough to kill. So, now into the next map. Imagine you're just kind of walking around. You're like, huh, I'm going to cross from over there and come over here. I was like, what What? What the, what the diamond? Where is it? What is this? Who the, what the, huh? Well, this, this is Modern Warfare 2. I mean, to be honest, this was in Vanguard as well, but... This game's stairs are completely and absolutely bugged. If you go and lay down on a stair, you can see right through it. That's on every single stairs in the game. If you ever see a set of stairs like that, you can do that on them. You can do it on the, the hotel map. There's so many maps where you can do that. It's absolutely insane. And this is what it looks like on their screen. They're just sitting there. And the worst part is, is that you can do it to where you're not even showing it. He was farther up, but what you can do to watch crosses is if you just kind of lay down here. Let's say you want to watch a cross, you still get aim assist. So since he's just walking around, you get all this info. Like, if he even goes in this bathroom right here, you can see him in the bathroom. They don't have to be right in front of you. They can be crossing. As long as they're this, they're kind of in your line of sight area that you're not even in, you can see them. It's absolutely ridiculous. You can kind of treat this as something called an off angle. So something like an on angle would be a very predictable angle. Like, let's say you're holding this cross right here. This is a very good angle to hold. Because when you're playing this map, basically the only places they can come from is this entire wall. So usually you'd have someone over here, maybe you throw a nade or stun over one of these areas. You just watch the cross. This is an on angle. An, on, an off angle would be something like this, or maybe even holding this. This is kind of a weird angle to hold just because of how like long it takes you to get up and how fast you die. And this game also has a lot of unintended lines of sight. So let's say he wants to go stay in that bathroom here. And let's say you spawn on this side or just get up here and just the areas of the map of flip. People are around the map. You can actually see him right there all the way in the back this game just has a lot of off-site angles in this game a lot of infinity ward games as well also have something called the verticality so verticality means you can go maneuver things vertically which means up and down you can get up to higher places it won't be clear but it kind of will once you understand map design and what you know what to look for look at something like this how do i get up there well there's something here there's an x on it it kind of just looks like you should be able to get up here so you just go up here wall hang it and because of there's wall hangs in this game, you don't even have to shoot this necessarily. You just strafe jump and go inside and it'll break the window for you. And for people who don't know what a strafe jump is, is when you want to jump somewhere, instead of just jumping forward like this, you kind of jump to the side. You kind of move your camera to get an extra boost of speed. You see that it was a lot easier to get there, but sometimes you mess up a strafe jump. You kind of won't. You'll get a little bit too far and it's to the point where you can't go in it. You kind of have to curve it. You kind of can't just go this way and then look that way. You have to curve it like this. And this also boosts up speed. And there's a lot of things because this game is based off of the Quake engine. So there's a lot of small things you can do to boost up your speed. For example, if you run up against a wall, sometimes you'll actually get more speed. And that's what I do to build up momentum and get into gunfights. So let's say I know someone's here. I'll strafe jump in and switch like that. You'll get the jump on them. Also, a lot of people don't know that bunny hopping is actually in the game. It's kind of hard to replicate. The same way I got those really crazy bunny hops in the first game. You just find a really big slope and you kind of just jump down on it. You can do it in some other stuff in the multiplayer maps, but I mostly do it in Warzone. It's still possible in this game. Uh, something else that is extremely, extremely good in this game for getting information is diving. It's also something you can do to, like, camera opponents. Like, let's say you want to get out of there and you don't want them to shoot you. You just kind of, you literally just do spins. It looks really weird, but your body just kind of looks weird and it's kind of hard to track. I went over this in my last video, but I don't really do that. I usually do it just to get info. Like, I'll look over here and be like, -do -do -do. you know what I mean? Sometimes it's just good for info. So doing this, going on a heady or just... 
get into a spot where they can't expect you. Like you, for example, let's say someone's on this heady over here on your right. You dive like this, you get the info, and then you come up. Something else that is kind of nice for movement. I'm not sure if this actually does anything, but I feel like when you jump upstairs like this, uh, it can kind of boost your speed. It just feels weird. I just feel like it does give you more speed, but it's just mostly just kind of keeping your momentum because you see on that second spot i kind of just didn't keep my momentum but if, there's always some small stuff you can do like this just jumping across things to keep your momentum but you also have to make sure you keep your tax turn. it's pretty important so i try not to spam my tax turn all the time that's why i jump because i feel like when you jump you also keep your tax sprint more um it's like it resets it almost but sometimes it won't it just feels kind of weird the way you time it something else you probably see me do in my videos a lot that has to do with diving is called a dive bounce i'm not sure what that's really called but i call it uh i call it a dive bounce but basically um you just have to time your bounce it's kind of like a ledge slide from black ops 3 when you hit the corner of these and you dive it'll just bounce you off it used to be a lot better but i'm pretty sure infinity war tried to get uh rid of it so still a way to do it you just have to time your dive right you just kind of have to visualize it you can do that and if you see me doing my videos you can also do it backwards uh but you can dive bounce backwards like that and then just get info and kill them on it but you probably see me do it in doorways it's a lot better in doorways i wouldn't really do it out in the open just because there's so many angles you can get shot from and like i was talking about with see, being able to see through through walls there's a bunch of them on every map so if you guys want me to go through this on every map let me know i don't mind making a rush route or just the tips and tricks spot for every single map because every single map has crazy broken spots like this like i'm getting full aim assist and his name tag so uh if you ever want me to go through those let me know i'm going to show you another one right here so if you um this one's pretty important for snd especially if you go over here and someone's on this bomb start right here you can actually go up here and if you have fmj you can see through it and kill them off the bomb but since i don't have fmj it doesn't work i've never really tried this with fmj but i'm pretty sure 99 percent of the time it'll you'll get a kill but i think you might have to have like larger caliber bullets like an ar or an lmg or maybe even a sniper rifle but there's a bunch of little broken spots like that uh there's just a lot of like hidden verticality on every map a bunch of little things you can do to just build up speed like that now i can just run up here can jump up the side i don't even have to go up the ladder i can just use these mantles um sometimes there's spots like that where it won't let you just auto mantle i've noticed this is one of the spots but there's also times you don't have to mantle um so that's that's what you want to kind of aim for but if you have to mantle do it just make sure you don't get caught a nice thing about this dive as well that it people tell me i like dive cancel a lot but with this you can just literally just get your gun out because it cancels that dive animation and you see i just miss it there but you just kind of get used to it you kind of learn the timing but like right there i didn't do it perfectly it's just like really weird time with switching weapons i feel like because people tell me i'm like how do you do that dive or the how do you get your gun up so fast? I'm not really sure what they mean. But if you guys want to know anything else, let me know in the comments below. Again, all my settings, my classes, everything you know, the best of the best is always on my website, views.com. So if you always want to peep that, let me know. If you guys want me to make a map guide for every map of the game, let me know. But guys, look, the time the time's running out. But if you want more, comment, like, subscribe, do all that bullshit. Let me know you want to see more. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.